Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to look at some more plugins for Adobe XD. Continuing on with our list from the last video, I'll link that on the screen now if you missed that. Here are some more great plugins. First on the list today is Android Artboard, and this one does exactly what its name suggests. It creates artboards for different Android sized devices. Let's take a look at it. To use Android Artboard, I'm going to be utilizing the shortcut, which is Shift Command W. And that's going to pull up this drop down and I can select the various device I would like. So I'm going to use the Google XL3 and apply. And now I have that artboard ready to go and I can start working from here. So essentially this is just adding in some extra artboard sizes. That way you have that control for designing for those particular devices. I hope Adobe adds these in the automatic presets when you open the artboard tool soon. But for now, you can use this plugin if you need to design for these devices. This next one is swap fill and border, and this is just a option to swap the fill and border really quickly on an element. For swap and fill border, I'm gonna stick again with the shortcut, but again, you can always go to the plugins panel. I have my rectangle here selected, and I'm gonna hit Command Shift X, and that will swap the border and the fill. Up next is quick mockup, and this one's similar to using a wireframing UI kit, except it's built into the plugins panel. So let's check it out. For quick mock-up, I have it open here in the plugins panel. With my artboard selected, I can just add a number of these. So I'm added a button. Let's also add a floating action. And we'll go with a image. And from here, I can start to work with these elements and create a wireframe very quickly to test out some ideas. So this is a really good plugin to have so you can wireframe a little bit quicker. You can edit all of these elements individually and make them your own. That way you don't have to make them from scratch. Up next is fit to parent and this one's going to resize objects to their parents on the artboard or in their grouping. For fit to parent, I can simply select any element inside of a group or on an artboard, go to fit to parent and then I can select whichever one I would like. I'm gonna select the width and height and it will fill just like that. This also works when you have multiple elements selected. So I'm going to grab these two and let's just do the width. And if your element is not in a grouping, its parent will be the artboard. So I can fit that to the artboard width or the height just like that. And last up on today's list is UI logos. This one's going to allow you to create some dummy logos for your wireframes and your designs. So UI logos is going to allow me to select any element like this rectangle and I can generate a black logo to fit my wireframe theme. And here I can do with this what I would like and use this in my design or I can go with a color logo. You can even do country flags and it gives you a good idea of what this will look like when it's for an actual client and you have the logo here in the corner. So this is a good one to have in your workflow as well. So those are some great plugins. I suggest you give a go next time you're using Adobe XD. If you've ever used these before or you're looking forward to them, let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design related content. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.